If you were like, I don't know anything about how to find CRMs and how to implement them, I would go with this one. Are you struggling to build a relationship with your customers, but you can't get them into your funnel, can't continue the relationship on, you're struggling to hang on to them? Well, I have good news for you. There is something called a Customer Relationship Manager or CRM for short. In this video, I'm gonna share it with you what that is, what those are, why you might want one, and then at the end, I'm gonna share with you my favorite ones, and there's a link below where you can actually save 15 or 20%. But what is a CRM? A CRM, what it does is it manages all of the communications so for you through multiple channels right in-person channels phone email texting all the social medias you and your team gonna manage everything in one place to them there's all these multiple things that are hitting them if you have ever gone to a car company bought a car in the last few years and then all of a sudden you get a text on your birthday hey this is Andy from Toyota we just really appreciate you know have a happy birthday nothing else just Andy from Toyota they didn't ask for anything they just sent you a nice little message right in fact a lot of you may have came to my channel because of my CRM and you don't even know it. And I'm going to go into what that one is here in a little bit. But before we get there, we're going to go into the why. A lot of real estate agents have real estate specific CRMs and whatever your industry is, someone out there probably has created a CRM specific to you that you can use if you want to. So there are tools out there that will help spike your business. It manages all the things, it does the remembering for you, right? And then you can use those in a certain way and build that long lasting relationship. It will do the thinking and relationship managing for you. I remember a guy said, oh, hey, Bill, how's your two kids? Last we talked, little Jimmy, was on a dirt bike and you had just got it for him. How's that going? That is notes that were taken that can be remembered the next time you call Big Jimmy. All of that is in there for you. So it's it's a note taking, it's calendars, everything combined into one. So we're gonna get into that now. A CRM can also help you customize to preferences to a specific demographic of people or a specific person if you want, depending on who your customer type is. And if you don't have one, you're missing out. You can tailor stuff in, you can do holiday promotions, you can manage a lot of people. Based on their preferences, it will tailor stuff. Like maybe there's some customers, they want everything. And other ones, they opt out of something. I only want a message once a month. I only want a message once a week. Some people say, I want that daily message. I really care about that thing. This is a tool that manages all that for you, right? You got 10 people, no big deal. You have 100 customers, now it becomes a pain. Also, you might have, it also remember for you, hey, I cut grass and I am a customer. Hey, you're a lawn maintenance guy and you cut grass and one of your customers, Bill, he loves you and he wants to refer your business to Jim. So you wanna give Bill a kickback. Bill, I'm mowing your grass for free next time because you brought me another customer. I really appreciate it. You rock. All of that will automatically, you can set most CRMs to do that for you. You can identify what your touch points are. Well. What is a touch point in the first place? It's an interaction between your business and that customer, whether it's business to business or it's business to consumer. This can include websites, emails, phone, in-person interactions. You can take notes from them, but also a lot of CRMs now come with preloaded information and they are billion dollar companies that have spent their money to sell a and product and do market research to say, hey, you know what? In mass, usually this works. Hey, I'm a real estate specific CRM. In mass, based on all of our demographic data, people respond to these types of messages, people respond to this type of a Facebook, people respond to this kind of poll, right? And you have that preloaded with a lot of CRMs that you buy, but then you get to tailor it to your company, your logo, your message. Message. You can collect and analyze a customer's data, right? Again, not just their names and phone numbers, but every interaction you have with them. Hey, I've got two dogs. Boom, you throw it in there. Little Jimmy with the, you know, motorcycle example. Boom, you have it in there. You don't have to think about it ever again. The next time you're, someone on your team gives them a call, they can review the previous person's notes. There you go. Easy peasy. You can use it to manage and send auto messages, which sounds very fim similar to the thing I just said. But again, hey, I got a year from the date of me buying my Toyota. My local Toyota person sent me a, hey, this is the one year anniversary. So thankful that you bought from us. Let me know if we can help you out in any way. Again, they're just reiterating that touch point in my mind. When it's time for me to buy another Toyota, I'm gonna go back to them. They nurtured that relationship automatically. I bet you that guy didn't even do anything. It's just an automatic thing that happened and it's happening all the time. They're not even giving me a call, nothing. Or 
you can set it up to have your sales team say, boom, on the one year anniversary, you call Hugh again and you say, hey, it's Adam at Toyota. It's a happy one year anniversary. You own your car. I hope everything's, you're happy with it. I'll talk to you later. They're just creating that touch point. You can set up your CRM to do what you want. And again, personalizing the data of the market. There's tons of things you can do with them and way more than this video will have, but let's get into why you would use them. You would do this to streamline your business. When you started off and you were just the entrepreneur by yourself, or you're just that one guy on the one sales team, you could handle all the things. But remembering to remember the thing about that specific customer who you may not have talked to in six months, that is draining. Let the CRMs do the work for you. Let them use their tested data, their tested methods for you. And oh, all, by the way, the best ones are constantly improving and updating. I'll log into some of my CRMs and they'll have new features, new forms, new ad campaigns. Some of them are trying to upsell me. Hey, here's a new flow chart. Here's a new workflow. Do you want to buy it for 50 bucks? Sure. The ROI for me is if I get one customer out of that 50 bucks, then it's a, it's, it's a no-brainer. But I get to have that workflow forever and I get to copy it to suit my needs. And then you can do all your testing. You take notes, remember the, the doing, shoot text messages to them. All right, so I'm going to go over two with you and the referral links are below. You get something and no, they don't know I exist. I just like their products and that's why I'm using it. First one is I use RE Simply, that's for a wholesaling business, but also standard if you are a retail guy. If you are a realtor, you can also use this because it is a it is a real estate based CRM. So if you are in the real estate industry, you are a contractor for uh, you know businesses, you're drumming up leads, you're a wholesaler, that's a good CRM to use. I use them to say, boom, actually I have it right here. For every 100 leads, I have 75 qualified leads, I have 30 appointments that I can usually get from that 75 leads. Of that, I have 24 offers I'll get, and then I have 4.8 contracts I'll get of those 24 offers, and then of that, three will close. And so, all I gotta say, it's keeping track of all that for me. I'm moving the leads through the pipeline. It does it for me. It's doing the thinking. I'm doing the executing. My team is doing the executing. I'm not remembering to manage them. It's managing it for me. Absolutely worth its weight in gold. I think it's like a hundred bucks a month. Again, check the link down below for it. Another one I use, Go High Level. You might have been brought here to this video because of my Go High Level funnel and not even know it, right? And what it does is I can create campaigns. What I like about it is it's it's overarching. Every one of my businesses I could use Go High Level for because I have an agency, which is a bulk account, and then each of my side businesses can have a sub account. And then I can also copy paste stuff from my different sub accounts. So if I have a lawn mowing business and then I say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna create, I'm doing good at that. Hugh, I'm gonna go buy a bug, a pest control business. All right, I'm gonna spin up a new sub account. Now I'm gonna generate the marketing, the funnels. Hey, I'm gonna copy paste because it'll be very similar to the lawn mowing business. Let's bring over all those things, okay? Hey, I'm targeting this demographic in this area, this age group. They probably need the same things. Maybe I can do a bundle. Hey, get your lawn mowing and your pest control all with one, you know, package or whatever. You, they don't know that you control both of them. So then you move that through. Hey, come on this this data here. If you're interested, sign up for my newsletter. If you want a course, you can buy my course and they'll host it for you. Hey, you want to, I'm a consultant. You want to book time with me? Go High Level is the one that has the calendar scheduling app. It's automatically aggregating all of my social media channels that talk to me and I'm managing them and my team's managing them all in one place. Hey, we have all of this stuff. Hey, you want memberships. You know what? I have a membership and that membership is for teaching people about two second lean. If you want access to the membership, buy the course or here's a, you know, here is a mastermind group. It's connected to my Stripe account. It automatically pays me. It's connected to my merch account. It automatically pays me. I can create websites through it. So Go High Level is probably one of my favorite because it's a, it's a generalist. But then within that, you can buy specific templates. And again, I love it. It's fantastic. You might've been brought here and have no idea that you were brought here because of it. So it's very, very useful. If you were like, I don't know anything about how to find CRMs and how to implement them, I would go with this one. I personally use it. They don't know who I am. Again, there's a link below in the description, but they have all the things, I think it's like 400 bucks to get me set up, connect all my accounts, connect my Stripe account, 
And away I go. Now I'm I'm focusing on what I'm good at, which is consulting. I'm not focusing on what I'm bad at, which is all of the other things. So if you want to improve your customer relationship, if you want to cut down the overhead and churn on managing your customer, if you want to personalize things, if you want to just not think about it, but email touch points out. Hey man, it's been a year since you bought our product. I'm just happy you did. Let me know if you need anything. You're still satisfied. You're not even doing sales at that point. It's doing it for you, right? So use tools like CRMs, get focused so you can do what you're good at. Let it do the heavy lifting for you. So you can stay in your creative genius. Guys, if you like this kind of stuff, remember to like and subscribe below. Maybe you hit that funnel. Maybe you go down below, fill out my newsletter so you can stay in touch. Remember in this day and age, someone can behind a computer screen and boof, you never see me again. I never existed, but we can bypass all of that by two reasons. I have your email directly. And two, if you share this with someone directly that you think will get value out of this, then from there, we can, then we bypass the YouTube algorithm. So guys, remember to like, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Get out there, eliminate the struggle.